I'm Sarah Hudson and I'm a member of the Transport and Sustainability Forum and I'm also a city resident and live in the Barbican. Here we are today in Gensler and we're holding a seminar to uh, look at City Vision 2050, how we can promote, enhance and protect our environment. This workshop is organised by the City of London and Gensler and the aim is to analyse and assess the challenges and opportunities the city will face. Examine how the city can build on its strengths and discuss how the city can continue to deliver world-class services up to 2050. And if we want to continue to attract business, if we want to continue to attract uh, the brightest and the best, we need to think beyond taxation and contract law. Um, we need to think about what makes the city a place that people want to live, work and do business. And preparing plans for the 2020s, 2030s, we need to be thinking about the 2050s to make sure that there are opportunities that might arise or um, mistakes that we want to avoid. And so that means the two things that we're going to have to consider and that no politician and no financier can get rid of is this natural phenomenon and cities are going to have to face up to a world which is warmer and therefore much of the time may in fact be drier the city will be very different in 2050. The delegates here this afternoon will be looking at three different scenarios. They are scenario one, expansion, scenario two, resilience, scenario three, infrastructure. the aesthetics of London to change quite dramatically. Our appetite for embracing all that in combination will justify London's presence as a world leader in a number of areas. But is that appetite to make sure we get our water provision, our waste and recycling um, facilities, utilities, digital provision, can we get that right to make London a number one world leader in infrastructure? That is the question. I think the City of London is uh, going to increasingly suffer from uh, higher temperatures as the climate changes. I think uh, that flood risk is going to increase. As the economy continues to diversify and things like data become uh, more valuable commodities, the city will have to find a way to attract those sorts of businesses to um, it within the city boundaries. Uh, by 2050, uh, from London Bridge, I think we'll see a lot more darkness uh, because I think we're going to become a lot better at managing our energy. I think in 2050, you'll stand on London Bridge and I think the shard will look small. I'd like to think I'll see a lot more people on bikes travelling in and out of the city, um, lots more people on foot, less cars. Thank you for watching the video and please feel free to enter a comment on our blog. We look forward to hearing your voice.